Hello, people. This is Eric Cobra. And Ron and Araja. And Wall on One. And here and there. What the hell happened to your voice? <laughs> That's the creepy voice. <laughs> <laughs> she does that sometimes, and it's creepy. <laughs> and of Cobra's. Yeah, it's the stuff of my nightmares. You are quite correct in that. In any case, uh, we are playing Let's... We, this is Let's Play Lone Wolf B Blind. God damn it. And we're still <laughs> on the Caverns of Cult. So last time you trekked across miles and miles of cold wasteland, then miles and miles of cold ice caverns. And then you got killed a bunch of time by a very toxic ice polar bear lion beast thingy. We got killed four times by the goddamn thing. Yep. Just because it has poison. You must have been very hungry to eat us that many times. Yeah. Oh. Maybe just to turn eating parts of our body, then an arm, then a leg, then a stomach, then a head. So, does that mean you can say we paid an arm and a leg just to get into this place? Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, okay. Also, one of our uh, viewers suggested at this point that, considering you, some of the things you've done, maybe we should also make a list of all mor morally dubious deeds you have done. Such as killing an innocent, for being ugly, and kidnapping a child. Uh, no, I think we just end up with a... We, You'd we rather just, just forget. feeling bad at the end of the day. <laughs> Fair enough. In any case, let's... Was, I am pretty sure that kind of list would just end up making us extremely unhappy with ourselves. Well, you do what you have to do, and look at it, in the end, you managed to get away from those ice parents with less violence than would have been needed if you hadn't kidnapped the child, probably. Okay. I think, I guess, I hope. In any case, let's continue. The corridor in which you now stand is far warmer than the icy caverns outside. cabin outside. For the first time in many days, you can lower the hood of your cloak and remove your mittens without risking frostbite. You notice that the stone passage ascends to a landing where another passage branches off to the east. MLA bowls hang at regular intervals along the arch ceiling, the natural light illuminating the carved walls. As you approach the landing, you notice an archway leading into a small room beyond. A strange sight meets your eyes. Ragged furs, pottery shards, and the debris of hundreds of years seem to have been thrown into this chamber. A last lure protrudes from the wall beside the archway. Do you wish to investigate the contents of the room, pull the lever, or just go eastwards along the passage. Mm, let's search the room. Yeah, let's start with that. After ten minutes of searching the room, you discover an old fur backpack and a long coil of rope. You may take the backpack only if you do not already wear one. The rope also counts as two backpack items as it takes up extra space. Hmm. So, you can't use the backpack. But you can keep the rope, though, as it said, it's big enough that it counts as two items in your bag. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but it's not like we can't put it away later. And it's not like we really have anything other than what, two meals in our backpack. Yeah, plus a rope might actually be useful for some, sometime in the future. I, I say we should bring it. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I think I'm getting an idea here. Yeah. Let me see, yeah, we have a rope, and yeah, by the way, our meal situation is that uh, we have one left. If it is at all possible, we ha still have the magical runic spear with us, and now we have a rope. I say that, well, we could maybe, if we can, tie the rope around the shaft of the spear so that we have something to actually throw and grab onto. Rana, if we, uh, get, if we get to do something like that, uh, it'll be, it'll be self explained in the game. Yeah, okay. okay. Though it is a good idea, but do remember this is not like our other role playing game. There is a limit to what you're capable of doing. Yeah, okay, but yeah, I have a tendency to overcomplicate things, but sometimes it shines through. That is true, sometimes it does really help. But yeah, um, so note the rope and note that it counts as two items. Let me see a rope. Let me see. So, if I remember correctly, you should now have a meal, a meal that can heal, and the rope now. So that's like four inventory spaces taken. Didn't we eat a meal that can heal? What? 
The meal that I can think... heal. We got that in the last adventure. Didn't oh, right, yeah. Anything? So, yeah, it was the magic potion. Sorry, mixed them up. But yeah, you can still got that potion. Okay, rope. Add it for climbing purposes. And you did add that it counts, uh, takes two spaces. No, instead I have just made it so that um, it is a two out of eight items we are now carrying. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much the same thing. But yeah, you soon yeah. reach the bottom of a flight of broad stone steps that ascend northward to a landing 30 feet above. The ascent of each step has been worn smooth by the feet of the countless creatures that once inhabited the lower levels of cold Akaya. As you climb, you wonder how long you will remain undetected. So far, you have neither seen nor heard any living soul in the, these deserted passages. You have the element of surprise on your side. You now pray that Bonotar is unprepared for an intruder from the depths of his own fortress. You reach the landing and pass through an empty hall towards the darkened archway beyond. Here, the passage splits and branches off towards the east, east and west. You are hungry and must now eat. Om um, nom 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 nom. And we're out of rations now. This is not good. So, you can either take the east or the west passage. Ideas? Me, mm, me, me, miny, that one. East. Yeah. Give it here. No. Let's go east. Okay. To the east. You walk Five along four. the passage for several minutes until it takes a left turn. To your dismay, you see that a huge fissure has opened, destroying most of the walls and floor of this new passage. The gaping hole is dark and wide. But you have a rope, so. An oh, M wow. oh, yeah. Yeah, so an M lab bowl hangs from the ceiling directly above the fissure. You can try to attach your rope to the bowl and swing across. But if you rather not risk it, you can always go back and take the other way. Okay. What do you say? Should we, ri should we risk it? Yeah, let's do that. Might okay. as well. Up we go. The bowl creaks and splinters of stone fall from the ceiling as you swing across the black fascia. But you are lucky. The rope holds and you land safely on the other side. With a flick of your wrist, you retrieve the rope and set off along the passage. Like a motherfucking boss. Yeah, that rope, rope proved to be pretty useful, useful pretty fast. <laughs> yep. You have gone only a few. You have gone only a few yards when you notice an arched stoneway door to your left, adorned with strange carvings. These carvings depict hundreds of skeletons entwined around smooth blocks of stone. To the side of the door, you see that a lever in the wall is raised. Do you wish to pull the lever and open the door, or continue along the passage? Um, I really have no idea what to do here. It sounds like a trap just waiting to be to be sprung. I agree. Mm, okay, so Unless move we... on. I just want to write down what the carvings were of skeletons entwined around smooth blocks of stone. Hold on. Remember, I'm the one to write these things down, so I need no, to I'm the one to write down clues. Rana, uh, oh. Waller took up that duty of writing down clues last time. Alright. So you all had a job. Around what? He, uh, I didn't get it because I had to talk to him. Entwined oh. around smooth blocks of stone. Okay. You follow the passage northwards until it turns abruptly towards the west. A few yards ahead, a flight of stone steps ascend to an archway 30 feet above. Just past the staircase, you notice another stone door with a lever in the wall next to it. The lever is raised and the door is closed. Do you wish to climb the stairs or would you rather investigate the door? Let's investigate the door. Alright. You realize that it's a door. <laughs> uh. Well, I just waited to hear if you had anything to say. You depress the lever and the stone door slides aside to reveal a large chamber. It is wait, 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 I said inspect. I didn't say open. Apparently investigate the door. Yeah, yeah, investigate. Investigate is not the, sorry, investigate is not the same as open. Investigate is, 
look at look at very intently to see if there's any signs of a trap or something. That's not the same as opening. Apparently here the main investigator has tried out. See what it does. Motherfucker. You depress the lever and the stone door slides aside to reveal a large chamber. It is cold, stale and empty, except for a granite chest lying near the east wall. Do you wish to make a closer examination of the chest, or would you rather ignore it? Does closer uh, examination mean opening it to... No idea! Give uh, it here? No, uh, I can't say that in this case examine means check it out. Okay. I suppose we could do that. Give an ear. Any yeah, suggestions? Yeah, let's take a look at, at that box and see what it is. Beyond being a box. Well, I just need at least two of you to agree on an action before I can move on. That's all. The faces of grotesque and distorted creatures adorn the surface of the chest. Their obscene expressions and unnatural proportions make you shudder with revulsion. Set into the center of the lid is a large stone block carved with a hideous face, the mouth of which is shaped around a keyhole. Do you have an honored silver key? You do? Yes. Yeah, we have a silver key. We found it uh, on the floor. You insert the key and turn it clockwise. A click confirms that it works. Slowly the shank of the key slips from your grip and disappears into the lock. And the great stone lid opens to reveal a magnificent silver helm. Also, the ah. chase just ate your honored silver key, so you can remove that thing. Yeah, it was never something to be written down in the first place, as far as I remember. Yeah. It was a special item. Yep. So now we have this silver helmet. Do you wish to use your sixth sense? Of course. Yeah. You sense that this helm has magical properties that can add aid you in combat. You detect no evil surrounding this item, or the stone chest in which it lies. Do you wish to put it on? Or uh, would you rather leave it? So Why not? we do not have the So we do not have the option to simply take it out of the chest but just put it on directly afterwards. If that's how you ca use a helm. You either have it on your head or you're not using it. Alright, alright. But I say Let's we try, try and use it. On. Yep. Rana, you were also saying something? Yeah, I say we try it. Despite its size, the silver helm feels light and comfortable. Mark it on your action chart as a special item. If you are already wearing another helmet, you must discard it if you wish to keep the silver helm. Well, we only have, we we only have a... I, th I suppose we only have a hat or a hood or something like that. Yeah, but a hood is part of your jacket, so that shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, on its silver helmet. If oh, worn during helmet. combat, it will increase your combat skill by two points. Ooh. So yeah. So that gives us a total of... 27, if I remember correctly. 27. Yep. The lid of the chest slowly closes and you leave the chamber, elated by your magnificent discovery. You continue along the corridor and explore the staircase ahead. You climb over a hundred stone steps before arriving at a narrow landing. Roll the dice, and if you have, um, well, since you have hunting and, and six sense, you might add three to the number. Five. To your right, you notice that a stone door is cunningly concealed by an intricate wall carving. A close examination of the carving reveals a lever. Do you wish to pull the lever, or would you rather ignore this discovery? Pull the lever. Mm. Yeah, let's try it. All right, I just say this place is trying to test us too much. The stone door moves slowly to one side. It reveals a narrow archway that is full of billowing and swirling mist, hiding whatever it is that lurks beyond. You notice a severe drop in temperature. You can... Oh, you can use your sixth sense here, but... Uh, you can use your sixth sense. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yes. And have you reached the rank of guardian? Yeah. yeah. Yes. In that case, your sixth sense works even better than normal in this case. 